So for this last video on reflection of the interviews, I wanted to focus on an interview I did with Denver Food Rescue. Um, Jamie Anderson, the program director, and Christine Alford, the executive director, um, met with me for about 15 minutes and chatted about Denver Food Rescue as an organization. And then they both kind of chatted about themselves as a helper and what they've learned in their career of helping. Um, so specifically, before I dive into what I learned in the interview about myself as a helper, I wanted to focus on Denver Food Pro I wanted to focus and profile Denver Food Rescue as a nonprofit. So Denver Food Rescue, based in Denver, specifically they are focused on um delivering um delivering fresh food um to communities in Denver. And I really enjoyed learning more about their the their system um of how their how the nonprofit is set up. So as Christine described it, they're resident-led, volunteer-driven. So how Denver Food Rescue works is a resident kind of identifies that need in their community for um, that there's lots of food insecurity and maybe that a bunch of people are not getting the nutrients they need um, from food banks or other sources. And so the resident can reach out to Denver Food Rescue. And then from there, Denver Food Rescue kind of takes over and um, uses their volunteer network to get that food delivered to the area. Um, and so I'm going to pull this direct quote that Chris, Christine said during the interview. She said, we are the connectors, model, we model, model and amplify what we are doing. And hopefully we are inserting ourselves into spaces that to unapologetically change the norm of the way things are done to allow the people that are on the other end of the receiving that they are ultimately the people making the decisions. And so I thought that quote was very interesting. And as I reflected on it more, I realized that as I continue forward, especially as my in my helper career, I definitely want to find a nonprofit that's focused on um, allowing the the people making the decisions that are on the end of the receiving that they make the decisions, they make the leap to c come get help instead of kind of the the people who are doing the helping coming down to those receiving. Like I talked about in the earlier video, we don't really I don't really want to be a part of that disconnect. I want to be a part of uh, fluidity where the helpers and the receivers are some of the same people experiencing the same things. Um, in addition, I also really um, learned, like Jamie kind of stated a lot about how she has learned that Denver Food Rescue is unique in this sense as well, about not creating that disconnect. And I just really enjoyed hearing about that and hearing about a nonprofit doing what I've heard about in class. Um, so from this interview, I definitely learned that like helping is twofolded. I need to keep learning and educating myself on what I want to be involved with. And so this interview helped me learn that I definitely want to be involved in a company that's not creating that disconnect. And in addition, like I also need to keep working on building transparency and building relationships once I get into a nonprofit. And then finally, I also definitely learned from this interview that it's important as a nonprofit, as a helper, as a director, whatever I'm doing as a helper, I need to have context. I need to know where my helpers are coming from. Um, and I just really enjoyed talking to Christine and Jamie about um, their helper career, and they've definitely helped me um, really learn about more about myself and solidify the things that I know that I need to continue to work on. So I just wanted to thank Jamie and Christine for meeting with me for uh, 15 minutes to just and just chat with me and I greatly appreciate it.